scalar statements and expressions. The basic difference between a statement and expression is that statement cannot return any value, but function will have some value to return. So, there is a basic difference between statement and expression. Expressions are having the R values. So, to have a more idea, we shall, we shall discuss this topic that is the scalar statements and expressions with some practical demonstration. So, here is the demonstration for you. In this video, we are going to share a very important concept that is the statement and expression. So, what is a statement? Statement is nothing but one unit of code and statement cannot return any value. So, if you write a statement like say print ln say hello. then obviously it is nothing but one statement because this print hello print ln hello does not return any value so that's why statement cannot return any value statement can be called as unit of code and in case of java mostly we are having statements but in case of scala we will be having expressions also many constructs that are statements in java are expressions in scala so that's why we should have a finite distinction between this statement and the expression and the concept should be clear to us. If we consider one expression, then the expression can return a value and also expressions can be chained together for a long series of expressions and that is not possible in case of one statement. So if we write say bhal, say radius, say bhal radius is equal to say 20 if I write this one then in this particular case we can consider that this val radius is equal to 20 is a statement but on the right hand side you are going to get this one as one expression because until and unless the right hand side is not an expression it cannot be assigned it cannot return any value which will be assigned on the left hand side variable. So, expression will have some R value that is the right value that is the right hand side value. So, that is the basic difference between one statement and one expression. So, expression returns one value and statement cannot return any value and it is one unit of code. So, now right hand side of any assignment statement should be considered as one expression. So, if we go for say val, if we go for area cal if we go on calculating this area cal is equal to if I write this one as say val pi is equal to 3.14 semicolon and then we are going for this pi if we go on writing in this way that means val pi is equal to 3.14 semicolon then pi star radius star radius then in that case the area cal will get calculated with the respective area and here you can find that the last expression is a return value you can consider this one the last expression is is returning one return value and here this particular statement and this particular expression must be separated by the semicolon and always the last expression will return the value which will be assigned to the variable on the left hand side so, what is a variable? Variable, variable means there is a storage unit on which the value which will be calculated will be stored here. So, in this particular video, we have discussed what is one expression and what is one uh, ex, uh, statement. And these expressions can also be chained together for a long series of expressions. You can also do this one. So, not only this, you can go on assigning different values and so on. So, that can be done in this way. Let me write the statement again. So, I am just going for, I am just making this one say val, val my radius is equal to say 30 and then giving the semicolon and then pressing enter. I am making this one as my radius. So, now if you if I press enter you can find that that multiple statements have got this multiple statements have got nested here they have got chained so there is one statement the right hand side is containing one expression there is another statement 
the right hand side is containing one expression and the last one there is a last will be the uh, expression which will return the value and the value has been assigned to this area cal. So, in this video our purpose was to give you the idea the difference between this expression and the statement and always remember many constructs that are statements in Java will be the expressions in Scala. Thanks for watching this video.